Afternoon, day three. Gare slept in. <laughs> so it's afternoon and we're barely getting started. Yes, sir. He needed his beauty rest, he said. Yeah, because I didn't look so good. Yeah, he needed to look good. Oh, your hair's not done, I just noticed. Um, we made a big supply run. We bought insulation and some one by material to attach to those four by six beams so that the insulation can sit on the little one by two material. We bought a little hardy plank siding that'll be a drip edge. And otherwise we're just getting started on, we're gonna do more bracing and stuff on the yurt. And Gare's ready to rock and roll with tools. And uh, we'll see what we can get done. What do you think we're gonna get done? Are we gonna be putting insulation up right now too? No, or? We're gonna put the lats for lats. insulation. The okay. cleats, I guess yeah. I would call them. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna put bracing up so everything's straight and then start working on the fascia. Okay, let's do it. We also got um, a covered area set up so we can work in rain. Pretty nice. We're gonna set up the chop saw. Yeah. I'm going to put an X in here. One, two, three for sure. So what we're doing, these beams are supposed to be exactly four feet apart. And Gare is showing me how each of these beams has a little wiggle room in this direction, so he's using these to hold them in place. Based, within, off, based off that center beam, which is braced. Based off the center beam, which is braced. He's putting these temporary bracings in, by, and we're measuring to put them just right, and then we'll put more permanent bracing in. Hey Jarvis, didn't you calculate how many of these things we needed? Yeah, 45. Four feet here first. Oh, sorry. 45? Then how come we're running out? Um, when we calculated how many we needed, we didn't plan on. Okay. We got some bracing done today um, to hold everything in place here, but we just had to come to a sudden and unexpected stop. Um, Gary's wife, Terry, had a fever and with what's going on with COVID and their family situation they can't afford to sit around and wait here and see if she's going to get worse or not so completely understandably they packed up and got going so that's a bummer because we were doing well and had a couple more good work days planned but I am just so thankful and happy with what we got done I mean if it was just Tina and I it, it, none of this would be here this week so i'm so glad we were able to do what we could and i really hope they'll be okay and that they can come back at some point in a few weeks or a month or more um, but we'll see but next is to figure out what we can pick up and do ourselves because um, we would like to keep moving momentum forward um, tie and groove flooring is still showing up tomorrow unfortunately we're not putting it up tomorrow but i've got a spot ready for it and um, that's where we are. So, yeah, just figuring out what to do. But, um, but you gotta deal with every, uh, every bump in the road. And this is one of many we'll have as we get this, uh, this place going and trying to move out here. So, look at that. Looks so good. So it's all braced up. Again, those little those little one by twos are just temporary while we get everything braced up. And then the, eventually the two by six tongue and groove flooring will be structural support holding all these beams together and those will be coming off. And the boys did a bunch of these. They put these in as little cleats because foam insulation can sit like this across that and insulate the bottom. 
of our floor. So that's where we are. Um, we'll see. Yeah, that's that's probably a stop on everyday yurt build updates. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make a video kind of summarizing what the plan is once we figure that out. Thanks for watching.